Hey what's up everyone, this is the interesting javascript library of the week series and in this first episode I will show you a JS library which can be used for optical character recognition or in short OCR. Yes you heard it right, OCR using javascript and that library is tesseract.js. Tesseract was originally created in C++, work on tesseract began in 1985 and Google took over its continued development in 2006. If you want to learn about the original Tesseract, then you can do that by going to its GitHub URL. It was later translated into the JavaScript code and it is licensed under the Apache license. So if you want to use it in your projects, then be sure to first read the license text. But more or less, it is free to use without any kind of warranties provided by the authors. Now coming back to Tesseract.js and its usage. This library supports nearly 100 languages and it can detect text from images which are supplied to it as an input. You can get this library and add it to your projects in one of two ways. For browsers and HTML pages, you can fetch its reference using a script tag from its CDN source. Or you can download it using npm by running the command npm install tesseract.js. This library can even recognize text in playing videos. There are versions of its implementation available which can be used with JS frameworks like Angular, Vue and React. So I would say to try this out on your own if you have time and need of the usability of this library. Let's now see a code example in which I will show you how you can use OCR for a simple image using this library. To use the code first I will add some text to the MS Paint application and then I will save this text as an image which we will then use as an input. Let's now save the image in the folder. Now this is Visual Studio Code and first I will add the script tag in the head of this document with the src attribute pointing to the source of the script. Next I will just copy the sample code which is given on the github page and this code is going to recognize the text which is written in the English language. To use this code first I will have to add the script tag in the body. Now let's just paste it. So I will need to replace this image path with the file name of the image which we have just saved and that is image text.png. Now every step of text recognition is going to be logged to the console and then when the entire text has been recognized then the final output will also be logged to the console. Now let's see how this code will work. For that I will use Visual Studio Code's live server extension which will create a local server to open this HTML file. So let's just do that. Now let's see the console. Alright so you can see that the script is working and it is recognizing each text and this is the final output of text which it has recognized and it seems like this is the exact text which was in the image. So on the left is the image which we saved and on the right is the text which has been recognized with this library and it looks flawless and it has been recognized as it is. There can be so many uses for this library like text recognition and then subsequent text translation to let the user know what is written in the image. I would say to write yourself and then see if it can be usable or not. And that is all that this episode has to offer to you guys. Do let me know what you think about it. Use the comments area to ask me anything and I will try to reply to you guys as soon as I can. I hope that you liked watching this video and if you do, please don't forget to place a like on this video and also subscribe to the code first channel to be the first one to know about the latest video updates i am nitej and i will see you in the next video till then take care of yourselves and have a great time